Hi, my name's Dylan. Welcome to State Library of Queensland's Auslan and English Storytime at Home. Let's start by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land where I am and where you are today. Are you ready? Here is the land, here is the sky. Here are my friends and here am I. We stand together hand in hand, respecting and acknowledging the traditional owners of this land. Before we start the story, let's learn some new signs and words from today's book. Let's practice together. Baby. This is the sign for baby. Sleeping. This is how we sign sleeping. Noise. Noise. Shush. Shush. Let's do those again. Can you show me? Baby. Sleeping. Noise. Shush. Now it's time to read today's book. Today's book is called Shush. Written and illustrated by Simon Howe. Shush. The baby is sleeping, said Dad with a sigh. If she hears any noise, she will wake up and cry. So the kids stopped their game, but could still hear a thumping. And they all went to find who was banging and bumping. Outside they saw possums all over the house, playing football with quolls and a small hopping mouse. Shush, said the children. Please try to be quiet. You might wake the baby with such a loud riot. Shush, 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 shush. Next, they discovered a party of frogs in a pool wearing sunscreen and matching red togs. All the splashing and splashing made such a loud sound. Shush, said the children. Stop messing around. Above them, they heard all the bats in the trees eating mangoes and singing with parrots and bees. This is too noisy, the children called out. Please try to shush. There is no need to shout. The cicadas were laughing and dancing in line as they kicked up their heels and shuffled in time. Must you do all this now, said the kids in a huff. This has gone on all day and enough is enough. Shush, shush, shush. The cane toads were squealing and having a lark on a water slide made from a slippery tarp. The kids crossed their arms and gave them a frown. This really is too much and you must keep it down. A rafter of turkeys were cooking some food which they scoffed down in gulps, not a single bite chewed. They giggled and warbled and flapped in the breeze, and everyone begged them no more of this, please. Shush, shush, shush. The last noise they heard was the loudest so far. A chipper, young wallaby, playing guitar. She was hooping and hollering songs from the bush and everyone said to her, shush, 
Shush, shush, shush. The garden was finally quiet and calm. All of their shushing had worked like a charm. But with everything silent, it felt rather odd. And inside, the baby had started to sob. She enjoys all the noise, they called to the crowd. If we want her to settle, we need to be loud. And they knew straight away that the right thing to do was to start the most marvellous hullabaloo. You can see them all dancing and having a wonderful time, can't you? The shindig outside proved a lively event, but our baby just yawned, feeling safe and content. Now the noise from the garden was sounding just right. She closed both her eyes and slept through the night. Now, do you remember the signs and words we practiced together? Baby. Sleeping. Noise. Shush. Well, thank you for joining us today. See you next time. Bye.